So you guys have cleared out the woodland mass and you've regrouped. Um, right now, unfortunately, the elf is poisoned, but the dwarf is going to administer poison curing on him. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin seeds, so you know the pumpkin seeds if you eat too many. If you maybe just do a handful, you're okay. Um, you guys see the weather's turning, so you're worried and you're headed to where the map leads to um, the Circle of Thunder, which, I mean, just the title alone is that good. Sounds like some fella's gonna be wrestling here or something. The Circle of Thunder! How bad is your uh, healing uh, right now? Uh, how, uh, how uh, well bad off are you? <laughs> you have something in your throat or something? That's <laughs> weird. Um, it, I'm okay now. Huh? I'm okay now. I have an ancient dwarven spell for removing poison. I'll place my hand on his shoulder, and with my other hand I'll reach into his throat and drag it out like that. You know, I use five of my and, and points. Exactly two pumpkin seeds come out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that was just too, too many. <laughs> Why does sometimes your, your voice sound like Earth again? You're like, I'm, I'm sensually. I, I, I wanted his voice. West, <laughs> West, to West sound like sounds like Earth a kid and like Hannibal Lecter. Yo, voice. like. That's the way he talks. Don't be a bad Who's kitty. Eartha Kitt. Eartha Kitt. Eartha Kitt. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were genuinely asking. No, me. that is how West like, Star sounds. Is that your mother's name? It's like, how do I know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, how do I know who she is and you guys don't? She was a legendary oh, elven thief. Mm. Yes. With cat light reflexes. Uh, <laughs> Xanis says, I cannot go to the circle of thunder. It is dangerous. I, I cannot journey with you anymore. Anything dangerous you're just opting out for, aren't you? I'm not a fighter. I feel like we're given more than we're getting here. Alois Nolom Dalaton Silaf. I tell him it's okay in Sylvan that uh, we will we will meet this danger to tell his people of our He knows it's the weather too and he wants to go he's worried about his people and what go they're summoning. Yes. So he's gonna he, go take I tell you in Sylvan. Haven't even let him ride around on his back. So it's now just the four heroes. As always. You guys, about 15 miles away from the Circle of Thunder, so you set out. I used to think Minotaurs were pretty badass, but now I don't know. You're already in the Neverwinter Woods, but you start <coughs> to head north. You come across mm. a 60 foot wide forest clearing, in the middle of which is a black needle like spire. Mm. A 40 foot tall pine tree ravaged by fire long ago, its limbs burned off. Tied to the dead tree near its base are several ghastly dolls made of twigs bound with black hair. Is this our destination, or is this no, something we come along the, the way? <laughs> You've arrived at your destination. I put my fist up and I say, do you see that? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it is more than likely a defense mechanism. I imagine we're about to be attacked by a million of your children. I only had one child. <laughs> and he's a dad. Can you summon your rats? I can't just summon my rats. Just because I rule them doesn't mean they run running as soon as I call. They obey my orders, but they don't come when I call them. I throw I a psychic blade them. past the tree to see if anything jumps out of it. You and your psychic blades. I took that pot with me, by the way. Nothing happens. Okay, yeah. we're we're gonna keep on riding. We're gonna skip past. Okay. We're gonna go up to it and see. Uh, I'm gonna look at it. I'm you not gonna the, get off my horse. You see the little twigs down there, and it looks like they're wrapped in something. How many of them are there? Um, several. The last time I tried to fuck with these things, it bit yeah, me. Yeah, they you. I'm going to take them, the rod and extend it out and poke it. <laughs> the twig, I mean, it just moves around, but you can see there seems to be like a, a beating pig's heart in it. Inside the tree? Inside the twigs. Yeah, mm -mm, that ripped in a little something. That's grotesque. 
this is this is the natural magic. We should burn this tree. It looks like it's already been burned. This tree has been here longer than a lot of the trees. The tree has been burned to death, right? It has been ravaged by far, fire long ago, yes. Long ago, okay. <clears throat> I don't know what to do, boys. Too bad the centaur's not here. He might know if this is... Let's just move on. Space. Tell the cleric to go in there and check it out. I say we just move on. <laughs> I'm with him. Let's move on. Yeah, I say we move on too. Fuck that tree. All right. So you guys walk past the tree. Yes, you're on your we're going to walk past the tree. I feel bad about doing that. It feels like there's something that we should probably have done. This pig's heart's there. I don't give a shit. We got places to be. I shoot a psychic blade into the pig heart. You do? Yes. Okay. You do? Um, wow. A root erupts from the ground. Oh, God. Here we go. I'm going to be the one that gets fucked with this. I need a dexterity I check. I told you to just keep going, Sonny. We got to do something. We wouldn't be there dexterity for check. nothing. Not every pig heart is there for you to just fuck with. It. Sometimes your pig heart is just it's a pig like heart. 20, seven. The root comes out and swings at you, but you're able to dodge it. And you notice all the roots start popping up out of the ground. All right. And they start swinging at you guys. Oh, boy. Whomping willow. It is a whomping willow. Hmm. I would cool. say that you have rolled away whomping. from it. And it appears to be a trap of sorts. Oh, okay. So... It's best maybe just keep moving on. You've gotten past that. All right. Right. A trap of sorts with bait because beating pig hearts are so enticing. I was trying to stop it. But you did at a range, so that, that worked out good, I think. Someone will come along and get killed, and get killed by it. Right, because there's so many people out here just looking for a beating pig heart to pick up. One of the centaurs could walk by it. Oh, fuck those centaurs. They haven't helped us at all. <laughs> you don't mean that. No, I don't mean that. I'm not the one who wants to fuck a centaur. <laughs> you guys continue moving through the forest. Yes. I'm... As you make your way across uneven ground, rise into a ridge. Several hulking orcs ascend a similar ridge across from you, separating you from separating you by a sixty foot wide, ten foot deep gully. The orcs unleash terrible battle cries as they are joined by a humanoid with elongated claws. Roll for initiative. There's sixty feet away? There's yes. a sixty foot gorge between us? Yes, yes. Ooh. They both out. They both out. They both out. Why did go? Stop that. Oh, it got canceled. <laughs> so we're gonna say this is the uh, this is the um, gorge top, okay? I'm like out of spells, you guys. <laughs> I'm used to this. This is the uh, orc that got away. The orc that got away. The one that transformed into a pig. She came back and got reinforcements. Hey, porky bitch! <laughs> Where are we at? You guys are way down there, 60 feet away. We're coming for you! She's also one of the three uh, anchorites that you had heard about in the book. Okay. Nope, he abandoned us. We're like right here. Okay. Um, That's a, a drop in front of us? It's a, it's, it said, yeah, it's a uh, 60 foot wide, 10 foot oh. deep gully. So that's the gully right there, 10 foot deep, not that bad. No, I mean, yeah. they, got, they got the high ground. They have the Wait, high if it's ground. 60 foot wide yes. and 10 foot deep, yes. they're not in a pit. No, they're So they're you. on equal ground with us. They're just above you, yeah. Then th our our drop is ten feet. How how far is their drop? Yeah. Then for them it would be how far? Because they should be on an equal. This is a a gorge. You know what I mean? You're you're in the you're in the gully. You guys are in the gully. So right we're now. down here. Yeah, you're down there. You're in the gully, and they're just ten feet above you right now. But the gully is sixty feet wide. Oh, okay. I thought we were on the other side of it. Okay. 
So we're in it. Yeah, you guys have been traveling in it. It's just kind of the okay. ground goes up okay. to them. Okay. We're traveling through the gully. And they, yes. we're not like they, they a, flanked us. We're yes. just in a, in a natural put us, land and then formation. Put us here then. Put There's us no, the it's not like any kind of surprise. You see them, they see you. They um, flanked us. You rolled for initiative, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. 20, 25 to 20? 20 to 15? 17. Okay, we got 18. You're rolling good tonight. You're on fire. What do you it's got, worse. Trenton? 11. 11 still going to be better than me. I rolled a 6 and a 3. 11. It's a 6 and a 3. How are we all? What? Hmm? All right. You're up first, Mike D. 60 feet. Yep. So they're 10 feet up, so there's... 60 feet away, 10 feet up. I mean, I'll go with whatever you guys got on the map here. Yeah, I got 55, 50. 55, 60, yeah, that's 60 feet, let's say. Because they're 10 feet up. I will, uh, I know I can't close that gap. You got a horse, don't you? Oh, we're you on horses. You guys are all horses, yes. What's a horse move at? 40, I think. 40? I think I'm sure, look at my horse. Horse. I'll do a, a okay. sacred flame on her. Horse is amazing. Okay. Give it a lick. Ooh, that's just like and that's gonna be Come on this winter. If I was a paladin. Hmm? If I was a paladin at level five, I'd be using fine steel. I would. What is it? Nothing. Fine steel. A stupid spell. I love that spell. What are you talking about? You've already found a steed even without the spell, so now what the, the spell will do for you? Nothing. Take up space. Speed is a, a riding horse is 60 feet. You can ride right up to him if you want. Oh, I can ride right up to him? 60 feet. Okay. I'm There's still going to be, yeah, you're going to ride up the horse. Can't jump 10 feet up. I'm all out of sorcery points. Yeah. yeah. The horse is probably at least six feet, maybe off the ground, <coughs> five feet off the ground. Your reach, because you're dwarf, maybe let's say another three feet. Maybe you'll be able to hit him in the kneecaps. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna do sacred flame, which was I, know, I, I roll like, I roll um he roll you roll a DC uh check yeah. his spell. Oh, save. so I don't have to uh roll. To right, yeah. Okay. You need I need to do a dexterity save. Okay. So you need to know what your spell save DC is. Yes. Well mine is. Yes, your spell save DC, yes. There's uh thirteen. I failed. I got seven. I can't find my spells. You've used some spell <coughs> slots tonight, yes? What level That's is it? That? <laughs> That's a cantrip. But you yeah. still gotta use a slot, right? No. no For a cantrip? Cantrip. Cantrips oh, are free. Sorry. Free. All the way a flame like radiance descends on a creature that you can see within range. The target must succeed a dexterity saving throw. Take 1d8 radiant damage. 2d8, you're level 5. Yes, when you level up, 5th level is 2d8. That's gonna be. 9. 9. All right. Who'd you hit? Her. The main one. The boss? Yep. Yep. Okay. Shabbers. I'm not going to move. I'm just going to pull my bow out. And I, too, am going to try and take out the leader. She is a half-orc. Right. You've seen what a half-orc can do. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going okay. to the leader. All right, I'm just oh, you're you're clarifying like, things. Am I not allowed to hit <laughs> No, no, you are. I'm clarifying. You've seen what half-orc's done already. Yeah. Okay. Oh, don't worry. I got I got some cooked up for 16. her. Sixteen. <laughs> okay. Sixteen hits. So I'm I know you guys are beating up and I'm my just, longbow. I'm rooting for y'all. I draw my longbow, and it's gonna be five, eight, twelve, seven. I'm sorry, eighteen damage. Okay. To her piercing. All right. Arrow. Right Good. into her. Yep. She is bloody. Okay. My turn. You got nothing else? 
No. All right. Yes, sir. So he's got something. He's got Would you range. kindly make an intelligence saving throw on her for me? Okay. So, it's not a 11, it's a 10. Okay. She's going to take 7 damage. 7 damage, okay. That's what I had cooked out. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What happened? That's it. That's it. That's done. It's just 7 damage. Awesome! <laughs> no. What happened? Did I know, you're impressed. Did she just get a headache all of a sudden? Yeah, she has a really bad what? headache. It's like a migraine, so no. Um, no, okay. Now she can make a wisdom saving throw, and she can subtract 2 from that. Okay. So it's going to be flat roll because she's plus two. So that's eight. Okay. So, um, Welkin's third eye opens up on his head, and his eyes turn an inky black color. Um, a beam shoots out from his head and hits her, and the same inky blackness overtakes her eyes, and she is now controlled by madness. Uh, oh. Prior to moving on each turn, she has to attack whoever I say. Okay. And she's gonna attack this guy. You could have waited for us to fucking not light her up before you did that. Jesus Christmas. So that's it. So when you control her, she does what she, she can move however she wants. If she wants to attack him. But before she moves, she has to attack him. Okay. Before she moves, she's gotta attack him. It's gonna be hard for her to attack him through another one. She was yeah, okay. Why not the one next to her? She can attack the one next to her. She no, can attack fine. this no, one. No, 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 that's fine. You just like the axe. I was hoping she would have lightning bolt or something like that cooked up. That's what I'm thinking. She had lightning bolt cooked up for you guys, and that's why I'm feeling like so she, she would, would just do take it. out she would all automatically. Three of them. Yeah, that's what I was thinking she would do because she was gonna unleash it on you guys. You guys tell the story. You take control of her brain, and you can sense that she wants to shoot a lightning bolt at you guys, especially Tordic. So, um, the worm that's in my head leeches into her physonic energy, and it tells her that her enemies are not us, but they are rather to her, um, right. her right. Stage right. Stage right. She turns to shoot the one that you want it. But the way lightning bolt works, it's going to just go through all three of them. Mm -hmm. Sure, that's stage left. And that's they're going to do a deck save. I'm going to roll three. Natural 20. Oh. Four and a three. So two fails and a success. So why don't you roll me the damage? It's um, it's going to be uh, eight d6s. Oh my goodness. Good thing I brought you all those d6s. And see, that's what I wanted. I wanted her to waste that so she doesn't have it for us. I feel like that's the right thing to do. That's why I was hesitant there, because I'm like, my heart tells me she should shoot what she was going to shoot. Like, she wouldn't think to herself, well, I'll just go over there and slash him. And if that's what Trenton wanted, then why not, you know? Let's fucking do why? it. Oh, that's a six. Early one T four. Four. 24. Okay. And wouldn't one take half damage? Yeah, one takes half damage, so half damage 12. is 12. So, I'm going to say... It just burns through this one. She wanted to kill this one, she did, and he is so bloodied, he's hit, but he's still barely alive. Can one of them fall forward? Yes. One falls down, the goalie. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> scream. So, the lightning bolt goes. <laughs> this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin it. One falls straight down the uh, gully. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the monster yelled at the same fucking time. That was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded cool. like a Will Hart yeah. horn scream. And it's now her turn, so what happens? Does she get her capacity back? That happened for her turn. Okay, so then it is now... She can move one. if she wants, but... Nah, she's going to stay on the high ground. She's trying to get her head about her, because she can't believe she just mm -hmm. cooked these guys. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to shoot javelins. There's four of them. There's three of y'all. So, no, it's four y'all. So each one's going to get a javelin attack at you, okay? Okay. They're like a regiment. Yeah, we're just going to go cray. <laughs> Excuse my Yoda cough. <laughs> <laughs> Plus five to hit. So, starting with uh, West Star, it's 11. That's a miss. Uh, Tordic, 20. That'll hit. 
You're going to take uh, six points piercing damage. Your javelin comes through the air and it's hits my girl. horse and goes right into his rib cage and just like sits in there. <clears throat> it's going to hit the girl for six points. And then last but not least, the wizard. That's going to be um, eight, 13. 13. To hit me? Yeah. Um, it's a wizard no or a it's possible. It hits me. Nine points, um, I'm sorry, six points uh, piercing damage. And uh, it's her turn. Maintain concentration. She wants to know if she should save her healing or attack. Use that cantrip. Attack this one! Girl. Oh yeah, she has cantrips, doesn't she? You're right. She's got attack. sacred flame cantrips, so let's go ahead yeah. and do that. Make attack the bloody one. Orc. Yeah. Why don't we go ahead and use her sacred flame um, yep. on this orc? Yeah, that one. Okay. Go for the nat. He rolled a natural one. Alright. Um, so, is it one or two for her? She's uh, she's level five, so it's two two d8s. There we go. He only had four hit points, so he's dead. She burns him up, and it's back to my beast turn. There he is. Yeah, he stumbles down on fire, lighting up the rainy sky. I'll attack the the boss again. Okay. Um, Take her away. She's still under my control, so I'd wait and oh. attack her last. Oh, she is under your control? Yeah, yeah. so okay. she's like, now she's a weapon of his. I got you. She, can't, she gets so to I'm do like a like check on her turn. At the end of her turn, she'll do a check. Like but at the start of her turn. Time. Okay, because she did it for, like, for that turn. Okay, okay. She so yeah, already yeah. did it once. All right. I didn't know if I thought you said she gets to go Now she's a weapon of his. Yeah. That's what I was like. She is my turn now. I'll shoot this right here. Because I don't get to take a turn anymore. Yeah. It's going to be not broken. Oh, wait, I don't roll for good secret flame. Yeah, Sacred so Flame, so it's deck uh, 13. Another natural one. Oh, so yes, 2d8s. Get it. That is an 8. Yeah, that's an 8, and this 14. is a 6. 14? Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, that is pretty good. You got anything else now? No. Nope. Alright, what's she going to do this turn? Okay, um, so <coughs> Wilkins does nothing. He just focuses on... Right, you um, me? Yeah, we did skip you. We skipped him. Oh, we did. See, That's you put him backwards, it's messing you up, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was can't wait to see what the Puppet Master's going to do. Um, I've never I seen some... <laughs> I've never seen somebody control a creature and make him kill everything! Okay, uh, I'm going to work on this guy here. I'm okay. just going to go down the line. Okay, I rolled a 17. That'll hit, like, totally over. Kill. Come on. So that's 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20. Your arrow just slices right through his eye socket, killing him. And out the back of his yep. head? His helmet goes flying through yeah. there? <laughs> that's been my turn. Okay. I only have one thing I can do. Okay. Okay. Now it's only So it's old man still Wilkins, kill. the. Joker turns good. The mind worm inside his head throbs as it struggles to maintain its control over the orb. Yeah. And now it's her turn. Well, she's just going to slash on this turn, okay? Mm -hmm. So she's going to attack this guy. Well, it, if it's a move... Okay, so the attack has to be made before she can move. So if she's not within range, then she has to use a ranged attack. She doesn't have it. She can't attack. Okay. Yes, she has got... She's got no ranged attack. Then she can move. Alright, so she would move to him, and uh, she'll just go ahead and... Uh, and that'll be the end of her turn, she can make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Alright. <coughs> no minus on this? No minus on that minus two less. Yeah, okay. no subtraction on Fifteen. Then she's no longer under my she's control. She's like... Rrr. Rrr. But I saved us from a lot of damage there, and we took out a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So is it her turn now? No, that was the end of her turn. That's why we bring you along. She right, used her action sweet. to try to attack. She Learned couldn't do new. it. She moved, and now she's free. All right, so we got Group two one. orcs left. One's going to go ahead and throw at old man Wilkins with his javelin. Ooh, that's going to be 21. Yep. Be six points piercing damage. The other one's going to shoot at uh, Tordic. Every time I'm free to use shield, it's too much anyway. Like it won't 
don't matter. 17 to hit? Is that for me? Yep. Uh, hits. So that's going to be six points piercing damage. Uh, what do you guys need her to do? She's got two spell slots left. Just she can save her flank. Why don't she go after the one that Tortic hit? Because he's already pre wounded. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring him down so Tortic can. He failed. Two D8s. She rolled two, but he only had one hit point, so he's dead. <laughs> dead. Alright. So then it's going to be Mike D's turn. Alright, I'll do. So she's no longer under your control. No. no. You can attack her. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll do it on her. Pulse smash. Sacred flame. Okay. Dexterity. 13. 13, yeah. She's got 13. So what's that do? She gets half or she made it? I, she made it. So I don't, I don't yeah, if it's a cantrip, then she made it and nothing happens. Oh, okay. Well, nothing happens. I haven't read Blessed in a while. I got blood. I got Sacred Flame here. It's not Blessed. Or Sacred Flame, I'm sorry. The target succeeds on a saving throw or take 1d8 damage. Or, yeah. 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 All right, then it is your turn, Chad. I won't forget you this time. I'll try to bring her down. <coughs> I thought that was a natural 20. I was about to get excited. It's 19. 19 hits. Oh, uh, so 6, 10, 13, 16. 16. Put an arrow right in her shoulder. Yeah, she's wounded. Sure. Old man Wilkins. But I'm gonna roll to see if I hit. What are you throwing at him? I don't know yet. We'll oh. see. I want to know if it kills her or not. First. Just throw whatever's in his pockets. Yeah. Huzzah! Staff of bird talking. Natural twenty. Bag of his son. Okay, so I'll take that inspiration, please. Yeah, I got. I gotta get first and foremost, most importantly. My huzzah, please. Woo! Inspiration. All right. And if this kills her, it's gonna be such a lackluster kill. Why? Okay. Because I want it to be. <laughs> Fourteen. How's it look? <laughs> Olin Wilkins is going to take the pot off of his head that he got from the manor and throw it as hard as he can using his telekinesis. Uh, it hits her in the head and she falls down into the pit. <laughs> and that's it. She's dead. That's good. That's good. Birds flying around her head. <laughs> and then he pulls the pot back with his telekinesis and puts it back on his head. That's a good cast iron. I know, that's why I took it. Seeing you kill the master, the last orc's gonna seasoned. toss his javelin at you, old man Wilkins, to try to kill you. Put it in season. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be 16. Hold on, one second. Is there anything on my character sheet that says I'm not an asshole? Yes, there is. In reaction to seeing this javelin thrown at me, um, Old Man Wilkins' shield flies off of his back and flies in front of him oh, and turtle. blocks the javelin from hitting him. All right. Sounds good. I use my last... No, not quite my last. Oh, boy. First level spell. Wee. Cast shield. I'm going to go ahead and just go to Mike D. All right. I shoot a... Uh... Okay. Sure there's a way to he failed. Mark inspiration on this. I, I, that I want is that. going to be oh, for me nine that points. Nine points. I have no spells. Oh. I don't know what I just it. He is bloody. You got anything else? No. In case, Chad, let's finish it up, buddy. Make it hit. Make make it stick. Natural twenty. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> I got it, finally. <laughs> you guys loaded up the uh, inspiration right in time. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now, does it carry over between sessions? Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's going to make it there. <coughs> yeah. Twelve. Um, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 30, 32. <laughs> Do I, I get say, to say how it looks? Sure, how's it look? Westar um, sees that last one, and he, as he throws, throws that javelin and it hits Old Man Wilkins, he gets pissed. Westar Did pulls out his me? arrow. Well, it hits your shield. I lick the tip of the fucking... Uh, arrowhead, Always kind of like and I go, <laughs> and shoot that motherfucker right in the dick. Oh no! <laughs> and as he grabs it, <laughs> he falls forward and falls down into the gulch and lands on his head, breaking his neck. Isn't that an indirect blowjob? You licked the tip. I did. <laughs> That's right, I did. I have tried. So much for and that PG rating. Admit it. <laughs> Some say I'm bad. <laughs> you guys are pretty beat up. But you'll appreciate this in the end. You guys push forward, the sky darkening even more. And I killed the boss for once. You got a boss kill, but you're paying. I didn't think it was lackluster. It was fun. That was pretty cool. Ah, it was fun. Yeah. Cast iron to the head? What's not to love about that? And we didn't even break rank. We didn't. We did well. We had a shootout in the OK Corral, basically. <laughs> Ominous storm clouds gather in the sky as you approach a 90-foot tall hill, with trees spread across its slopes. Atop the hill is a large ring of standing stones. Two ghastly figures dance within this hedge, surrounded by a number of smaller, capering creatures. What's that? A wind away? Boom, shakalaka, boom, shakalaka, boom, shakalaka, boom, shakalaka. Oh, yo, they go, yo, they go, yo, they go. Well, you know. All right, this could be it. Is there any stories you have to tell? I told all that already. All right. So we're going to start out. Trenton, you're up first. Okay. Battle maneuver, spastic hawk. Let's go. Um, <laughs> uh, I float into the air? No. <laughs> no. Um, mucus drenches my body and shadowy wings sprout from my back. <laughs> and I start flying. And I hold out my hands and I say, grab on to um, Mr. Moon. You can just grab my over cloak. Here. Okay, I'll grab you by the cloak. <laughs> and I fly up into the air with him. And I billow. <laughs> oh, I need that. That's why I got it. Thank you. We need two. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, uh, okay, there you go. Good idea. So I'm holding him up there. Uh huh. <coughs> That's not him. <coughs> That's his yeah, quote. Oops. Right. You had Sorry, your all you elves look the same. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going to take the immovable rod out of my backpack and push the button. <laughs> yeah. And let's let it go so he can sit up there on it. Oh, yeah. Sit up on it. Okay. The wind's it. blowing. So you can on it. <laughs> How high up am I? Um, high. <laughs> Pretty high up. Good view from up here, huh? So high you can touch the sky. Death from above! <laughs> How high are you? Um, let me see. How I think I'm 60 feet up. Hold on. Let me see how fast I can fly right now. You have no idea how far I can fly. Can you move? So is this when all you're carrying stuff? When you're carrying something? This is all no, this combat? is his turn. Yeah. Um, is this... Uh, you touch a willing creature, the target gains a flying speed of 60 feet for the duration, so I can fly up to 60 feet. So when I you're carrying somebody, can you move the full movement? Like if you're trying to pull doesn't somebody. say anything about that out of a flying right. speed. Okay. If I can hold on to him. 
All right, we'll say you're up to 60 feet, right? You said? Mm -hmm. So right, straight 60 up 60 feet, feet. Yeah. and now I'm not holding him anymore because okay. he's Touch just the immovable rod. He's perched on the immovable rod. Put me on it. His turn is to cast a spell. We're sitting upright on it, though. Don't wiggle too much. Jesus Might have to do a dexterity. Kind of Acrobatic like shit. It's, it's, like, it's like this. <laughs> yeah. And that was my action. You cast a spell and you did the immovable yes. rod. So that's it. Two things, yeah. So that's the end. Because I was going to say, I'm going to use Quicken spell, but I can't cast two How spells. How do you prop yourself turn. on this rod, Chad? Well, I hung I him from his cloak. <laughs> hung him by his cloak? Yeah. All right. So he's just dangling. All right, you're dangling by the cloak. I, lo I love it. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very strange Go! sensation. Go! Death from above! So I can see the orcs and everything going on? Yeah, it's clearing. I need to definitely shoot those orcs who are doing that crazy dance. I'm gonna try and sharpshooter them. I got a 19 on one roll. That'll hit. An arrow comes flying in. Oh man! <coughs> that. Oh, that's five. Eleven plus six. So 17 damage to an uh, arrow. Flies Ooh. through the storm. Yeah. And pokes one of the orcs. I'm gonna say that one. Yeah. Makes it. Uh, Skipping its step as it's dancing around. Okay. That's it. That's all I got. Alright. Group one is the orcs. And they continue to dance around. And lightning <laughs> hits the rock and it kind of illuminates. It is now your turn, Mike D. Alright. I am going to. I can go 60. Are we on the map at least or no? What's that? You should be on the map. On the map. Yeah. yeah, be on the map. I would say. Be on the map. Come on. Oh no, he's gonna stay. I can just load it in. Hit that guy. Yep. That's gonna be a twenty. Dirty that hits. 20. Yeah, that hits. And yeah, that's gonna be twelve points. That kills it. All right, destroys it. And then for my one that I, I still have to have just my movement, right? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention to you. I when I had when that. I you get the kill bonus, movement you had I, left. Yeah, I only move it twenty. Well, I'm on horse. <laughs> Are we on horseback? Were you? We have horses still. You can yeah. say you're on your horse. Sure. Right? So that was twenty-five. Yeah. So you run up and you just hit it like a polo. Yeah. yeah I go to that guy there. Yeah. This is mounted combat. Yeah. yeah. Why not? And then that's going to be a 22. That hits. And that's going to be 12 points. Gone. He's destroyed. You're smashing these twigs. And that would be... I only have a few of those. No, no, no. A horse moves 40 or 60? 60. 60. A riding horse moves 60, and they are riding horses, correct? Yeah. I move okay. 62. All right. Um, group one's these twigs. Um, well, this one will move towards Tordic. He should move. I think he moves like 30. So up to me. Yeah. Let's go ahead and attack you real quick. Nine. Doesn't hit. Nah, it's not gonna hit. Um, Nine. Let's move this one up towards the action. They move 60. 20, 30. You don't have her on the... She's on too. Oh. She'll go last. Are these dead? Is he dead or alive? He's dead. He's dead. Okay, so there. It's not dead. Oh, move those two little ones towards her because they would move their full 60. I only moved them like 30. They're not going to be able to attack, but they're going to surround they're gonna her. They're going to get to her? Yeah. They'll surround they her. They dashed. Yeah. Yeah, they just dashed. All right. Then it is uh, you took away the your turn. Oh, her turn. She's going to just... Yeah, she can do sacred Basically. flame. Or, or that, yeah. Yeah, she can just sit there stand in front of her. She can just fucking burn them, right? So I'll just roll two dice. Ooh, a 19 and a 7. So the 19 is going to pass. The 7 is going to fail. Two D8s. 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. One of them's dead. She burns one up. Okay. And it is now your turn, Mr. Trent. Okie dokie. I'm gonna go and use my last spell. Yeah. He's just gonna fly over to here. I don't know. We don't have two of those things. So I'll Thirteen will hit him or no? Thirteen will. Okay. So. Psychic. It's psychic every time. Um, this one, a beam of light travels from my head straight to hers, and she's going to take. Seven, sorry. 13 psychic damage. Alright. Okay. Let's see in the Maltan. Chad, you're hanging by a cloak. <laughs> I look and I see this guy's like poised to get me or? No, you're 60 feet up. He's yeah. gonna get you. I'm, I'm going to keep shooting at my orc friends who are dancing around the Makala Kala tree. Mm -hmm. I used the, uh... I used the move of rod like a coat hanger and just... Stuck me on. <laughs> Can't wait to see him get down. <laughs> 16? Uh, 16 plus hits. 4, so yeah. Uh, so 8, 12, uh, 16... So 16 plus 6 is 22. 22. 22, an arrow. Same guy. It's so bloodied. So bloodied. So bloodied. Staggering. Still trying to do the dance. It's their turn. Anything else? No? I got it. That's it. That's all I can be. That's it. That's you. A lightning hits this one and now it starts to glow. Okay, two of them are glowing? Two of them glowing. They are It is now up. your turn, Mike D. Right. We gotta take them. That's gonna be a um, 17. Oh. 17 hits. <laughs> and that's gonna be 15. 15 will destroy it. Alright. Knock it down. Then yeah, let's see. <laughs> Twenty twenty-five. <laughs> yep. Attack that one. Uh, that's gonna be a nineteen. That'll hit. Hell yeah. And that's gonna be an eight. And I'm gonna use How's that the, look? No no. Oh, How's that okay. look? Uh smack him down to the ground. Yep. I'm on the horse still. Right. Kill that one, so I still got my bonus kill. So that was twenty five. I'm sure you got nothing on me. 35, 40. And that's going to be a 23. That hits. And that's going to be for uh, 12. Do you want to use anything on that? I'm going to do my smite. Okay. Which is going to be another 9. Okay. Good hit. That's it. All right. It's now the twig's turn, so it's going to take a swipe at her. It's a three, so it's not going to hit. And bring that other twig up to her, too. And he's probably within 30 feet. He'll take a swipe at her. He's just a twig, or he's one thing? He was only 20. I don't have no twigs. Oh. Could be a vine. He's, he's, he's leafy. He's a, little, he's a little taller than the other ones. <laughs> yeah, a little bit taller. Oh, Colin Sprout. He's gonna hit her for six points. Yeah, so she's she's really bloody. Oh no! <laughs> and be you're up, with me, but you chose to be down there. Oh no, it's her turn. turn. It's her turn. I'm sorry. It's her turn. So she's gonna let loose the sacred flame on both of those. Well, yeah, sixty foot range, so she's really going after one of them, I think. Should go after yeah. the, the big one. Why not? Ooh. I don't know why I did that. Um, they passed. 
I rolled a 15 and a 19, so. Okie dokie. Um, it is now your turn, Trenton. Okie dokie. I am going to cast at this one. And is that a natural 20 or what? Yes, it is. That is a natural 20. That is a natural Huzzah. 20. Yeah, I don't know. It was kind yeah. of yeah. like the one. I'll, I'll give it to you. Because I was like, I'm just going to pull that away. You get, listen. Happened, and it felt like that. Let's see, what does the crowd say? Crowd says, ah. Oh. All right, I'm glad to hear it. This means that I did for details. Somebody teach me how to count. 23. 23. Woo. 23 to You guys are doing good. To the orc. Is she still yes. looking good? She is bloody. I mean, she is the the, the paint's running off her. Wilkins. Blood's piling up. Old Man Wilkins is going to take a dagger out and he throws it using his telekinesis, and it um, spins up her body, cutting her over and over again as it spirals. And the dagger upwards. does 17 damage. And then he Woo. pulls it back. He, he finds creative ways to use his telekinesis. All right, Hello. Chad. All right, a friend underneath you in danger. She's got uh, six hit points. And then you've got the orc down there. It's your call. You need this. Yeah. Give me this. I oh. missed you, Step. Oh, All right. you bitch. <laughs> Why did I put you up there? <laughs> you missed your steps. I missed you. You got step. advantage. And a That's sneak attack. But you have, right. you took the rod with you, though. It's still sitting there. It's still dangling up there with your cloak. <laughs> I missed he stepped out of my cloak. He missed he stepped out of his cloak, so now there's just a cloak levitating in the air. Flag. <laughs> that cloak's billowing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, it's uh, 18 to hit. 18 hits. Come up behind that guy who's fucking with her, and I roll a handful of ones. It's a twig, so... Yeah, 10... Um, Anything past four kills it. Okay. Yes, it's so I come up behind her. So she's like getting like fucking barraged. All of a sudden it's, it's like, like evil <laughs> dead. It's like poof like happens behind her enemy and like a, a green blade comes through its chest. Uh -huh. And it just kind of falls asleep and I'm standing there. <laughs> uh -huh. I take her in my arms and kiss her. Oh wait, no, I don't. <laughs> <That's her goal. laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, that's it. That's my bonus action and my action. That's it? Yes. That's it. Saved the... Um, I could step here to try and help her. To try and draw aggro. Lightning. And all of them light up. Uh-oh. And you can hear the orc laughing because Talos has answered their prayers and sent his... Harold. Gorthok the Thunderbore. No. Oh no. But they only lit three of them. I think they only need to do Doesn't three, three rounds. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna put it at the end. So it's your turn, Mike D. Alright, well I'm gonna finish killing that orc maybe. So I, I want that as a mount, so don't kill it. Don't kill it. I'm gonna ride that. Oh. <laughs> don't ask him not to kill something. Uh, 16. He doesn't 16 care. Hits. He doesn't care if it's your own son. Yeah, that's gonna be. <laughs> he doesn't care. Uh, 13. 13 damage. Okay. She's still up. She. She is barely up. We all want like one is, is there anything you want to do? I'll use my second attack. Okay. And that's gonna be a well, a twelve hit. Okay, twelve we will not hit. All right. Okay. About a seventeen. That hits. And that's gonna be. What's that? Uh, 13. How's it look? Smack her down. Okay. Knock her underneath his feet. 
and then I will use my bonus attack on him. Okay. And that's going to be a dirty 20. That'll hit. And that's going to be for um, 8, and I'll smite. Okay. And that'll be for another... Uh, 14 points. Alright. You notice that your regular attack does limited damage on it, but your smite affected it greatly. Okay. You have a magic weapon now, don't you? He has the sword, but he didn't equip the sword. Oh, I thought the hammer was. Um. I'm not. What's a hammer? You know what? We did have a hammer. I'm not the keeper of the old. We had a magic hammer. If you can't tell me what that magic hammer is right now. The one from under the sea. I, I never got the card for it, though. You did. It's a plus one. You're right. But I don't have... Why don't I have the card? All you have to do is just do plus one to your card. hammer. That's all. All you have oh. to do is plus one to, your, to a hammer. Oh. oh, yeah, I did write it here, plus one. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you haven't been adding that plus one to it. No. Damn it. Start plus one. Learn. That's the name of it right there. Yeah, Star Cross Lover. That's yeah, what it was. Yeah, yeah, you're checking yourself you need, all night. <laughs> yeah, you need to use that because it's plus one on the attack, and it's plus one. Like, like he's right. That orc only had one hit point left. That one would have killed the orc and given you two attacks on uh, the sucker. It's okay. Now you've got your magic got hammer, magic and it hammer. finally is attuned to you. <laughs> the Star Cross <laughs> Lover moment. finally has fallen in love with you because of all the killing you've done. Now she's like, now I will serve you. That's the story of the hammer <laughs> and the dwarf. You fed it enough blood, and now it's your fucking hammer. That twig is going to attack her. Six, so it's not going to hit. She's going to. She might as well use Sacred Flame on it. Kill it. Hopefully. What an item. Yeah, I know, I don't think so. Her DC's 13. So he succeeds. So he's still alive. Um, he will not be brought down by a fucking twig. That thing's bad ass. I'm gonna cast lightning bolt at you, might be. Okay. I need a dexterity safe. Should I make it run? What? Just hit it with missiles. There's a I'm just gonna hit it with this. A six or is not gonna hit it with. You're gonna take 18 you're not gonna lightning damage. My last spell. How do you look? I'm okay. Alright. He just hit him for 18 thunder damage. Well, I mean, lightning damage. 18? 18 lightning damage. I took like 30. I'm like, upset that he didn't die. I'm like, I almost died. <laughs> it is your turn, Trent. Okay. Well then, um, see, and I had all the things in my hands. Here they are. Oh no. 10, which means I add to this 17. 17 will hit. Okie dokie then. Oh, I'm confused. 20. 20. 20 damage? What did you do? 20 fire damage. What did you do? I cast Chaos Bolt as a second level spell. Um, so I conjure up from it's somewhere. It's gonna be your last spell. <laughs> um, a ball of undulating flames and throw it towards the uh, boar and it bursts against his side, catching, yeah. singeing some of his fur. You know, like, I don't know where I got fire from. He looks bloody. And that is the end of my turn, but why not do a quick lap around this, because I'm flying. <laughs> To bring you up, Chad. All right. Now, the dwarf and him are adjacent to each other, correct? The dwarf is right in front of him, yes. Yeah. How is it that 
every time I play a character, somehow I get them and get them to fly. Is that Twiggy dead or is he still alive? That Twiggy's still alive. Well, he's still alive. Purple light comes out of my eyes. My hex the fucking um, pig. Okay? It's a thunder boar. I hex the thunder boar. It's piggy. That is a bonus action. So he is hexed. Okay? And uh, I'm going him. to. What's a hex do? It's like Hunter's Mark. Okay. Uh, what saving throws do you use mostly? Dex uh, for your, all your shit? It's like Dex for your Sacred Flame and all that shit? What about you? All I have left is Fireball. Dexterity saving throws. It will have disadvantage. Okay. Okay? That's the one that I call. Okay. Uh, okay, she wants to help. She's fighting a twig. She, yeah. <laughs> and then with my action, I will conjure the soul blade and make an attack. Sixteen. That'll hit. Okay. That's an extra d6 to my damage because it's hexed. Wait, no. Yes, because he's adjacent to the guy. Okay, so. That's, uh... Sorry. 12, 16, 20, 23, 26 psychic damage to the uh, pig. To the thunder four. Okay. Okay. That's the end of my turn. And I, I willfully scream at that twig. <laughs> I encourage violence. You're up, Mike D. Oh. Like D's going way in his playbook now. Yeah. I was just making sure I got enough spell slots left. So I'm good still. I think, yeah. yeah. Blow your load. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Alright. So I'm going to attack him. And that's going to be a, yeah, not probably much. Uh, 11. 11 will hit. He's turning in. Uh, Swing hotter than that, dwarf. That's going to be a 26. I will hit. And I inspire you to hit harder. And that's going to be a... Uh, 9 from the plus 1. Uh -huh. And then it's going to be another... 7 radiant. How does this look? Hooray! I, I leap in the air and I bring the hammer down right between his eyes with all my might. And I curse at him in Celestial. <laughs> Go back to your demon hell. <laughs> with non lethal damage, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've never ride that pig. <laughs> You're not going to ride that pig. It's, a, it's, it's, uh, it's been sitting here. It's made with thunder and lightning. It's going to dissipate into nothing. Too proud. Too proud. He's too proud. He's too proud to be ridden. It is a creature made of lightning and thunder, and it screams out as it dies. She looks at you, and just as she looks at you, the twig cuts her for three more damage. And she dies. <laughs> I forgot the twig was there. I'm here making out of combat. <laughs> it's, her, it's her turn. Oh, if she had died, <laughs> that would have been so beautiful. I, you know, it, she rolls, he rolled an IT, he passed the dexterity oh check. God. And, uh, well, do you want to do anything to help her turn? Or do you want to go collect your movable rod? I shoot her. <laughs> <laughs> Just um, whistle. Just whistle. No. <laughs> okay. That shit, hey, come in. I will, stomp I it will let any three of you go if you'd like, because you go before the twig. Actually, you know what? I'm still on the horse, so I can oh. do my... Oh, shit. Like, it's my, my whatever. Turn. Oh, 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 are you uh, going? Well, I mean... Well, I'm just thinking, I could have still gone after... I was just going to shoot the twig. 
Or sure we could have can. a romantic. Oh, if you want to still go on after the pig, then whatever. I'm just thinking I could still could. If you want to. I'm just saying, it's whoever's got the best story to finish this battle. If you got it, do it. All right, so I'm gonna ride forward on the horse across the dead body. I guess I'll probably get right about there, and I'll throw my well. Wait, I can go sixty. Yeah, there's no dead body there anymore. It's right there. It dissipated. Is lightning and thunder combined? Right there, I'll hit him. <laughs> you, hit well, that's the bonus. you hit him. You hit him. Okay. <laughs> I swing the hammer down low and I s s smack you the twig. Smash him and she looks up at you. And he. Do I need damage? No. No. I'm fine. He with just it. bursts into the little twigs. Yes. You reach your hand out. She I pull her up on the horse. horse. Yeah. And we ride off into the sunset. <laughs> well, it's raining really bad. <laughs> Although, there is a break in the thunder. You're right. The clouds start to, to separate. And things calm down. But my cloak still billows. <laughs> and mine's dripping. <laughs> How are we going to get that? <laughs> <laughs> I fly over to the cloak and I put it on and it changes color to like a putrid slime yellow <laughs> and I take the rod and I hold on to it as I levitate down <laughs> um, and I land and I say <laughs> I take you it spin. off I, yeah, I take the cloak off and it's drenched in slime and I put it on <laughs> Navi I put it on him and I go I got your cloak, cloak back for you and I pat him thank you <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Booga Joe. <laughs> Booga Joe. <clears throat> A mighty strike, Kordek. You brought down the aspect of Talos itself. No, that, that was just... Works, no. <laughs> that was but a herald of Talos. There could be more. I mean, not for this adventure, but if you guys continue one day. Did the thing stop blowing? Yes, yes, that was summoning... Uh, the Herald of Talos. I ride Shepay. I ride Shepay. You guys mount your horses and uh, return to the centaur and you'll return. As well. yeah, you'll return back. Well, Welkins down. digs a shallow grave in the center of these standing stones <coughs> and he buries his twig effigy in it. Very sad. Beautiful. He makes a little grave in the center. <laughs> 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 <laughs>